I probably shouldn't squat today. I probably shouldn't squat every day. I shouldn't squat ATG. I shouldn't squat without a belt or knee sleeves. Uh, I shouldn't walk the bar out backwards. Uh, I shouldn't squat outside the rack. I shouldn't have had kids before getting married. I shouldn't drive a yellow Evo. I shouldn't be a nurse. I shouldn't listen to hip hop. Uh, I shouldn't play video games. I shouldn't do anything. What I should do is curl up in a ball and die. And while I'm at it, I shouldn't eat meat. I shouldn't eat carbs. I shouldn't eat protein. I shouldn't drink water. I shouldn't get too much sunlight. I shouldn't swim in the ocean. I shouldn't fly in a plane. Don't do anything, man. There is someone in the world telling you to not do something. In every single theme, in every single case, in every little thing that you can think of, there is somebody out there telling you not to do that. Trust me. There's always somebody to tell you don't do that. This mentality, this noise is what led me to do this. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do in the garage when I'm training. That's the only thing I can control fully. I'm done listening. Shouldn't do that, shouldn't do this. Shouldn't do pin squats. It's useless, has no carryover to anything. You shouldn't do front pin squats. You shouldn't do block pulls. You shouldn't do deficits. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. 99.99% of communication that I get is positive, and I love it. I honestly love it. Um, it is all friendly. Uh, it is brainstorming. It is all of that, and I love it. Uh, but sometimes I get comments about, you know, coming along the lines of, hey, Van, really enjoy your content. Thank you so much for making these videos. I had a guy tell me not to do X. Uh, it's really, really bad idea to do X or Y or Z or whatever the hell is going on. And I automatically get a reflex in myself saying, first of all, I have like this out of body experience looking at myself and crit critiquing myself and my thoughts, right? Because just because you're thinking it, man, doesn't make it right. Do you understand? Like there are many perspectives. This is why I started off this video saying there is somebody always saying that you shouldn't do that because from their perspective, from their vantage point, that shit doesn't look right, man. Man, I squatted parallel, I squatted quarter squat, and I know I can't walk at 50. This brother squatting ATG, of course he's going to be snapped up by 30. That is a valid, logical experience for that individual. But what I'm saying to you is, take your experience and value that as well, because that matters as well. Just because you haven't been around the block to see it from the other vantage point, doesn't make it wrong or right. You just have to go in experience and make logical decisions and don't look back, right? You need to do stuff because if you continuously listen to everyone from 360 degrees on a particular topic, you will have complete and utter stalemate. You will have complete and utter uh, just hesitation. You, you can't do anything, man. Or you shouldn't really buy a house because the market is going to drop with there's a World War III going, everyone's going to war. You shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. You really shouldn't go back to university and, and specialize in emergency because it's going to cost you another $15,000 and you know it's going to take you five years to pay that off with the money that you're going to get as, as a salary increase. There's always somebody telling you, you their experience and their opinions. What I'm saying to you is, yes, in many, many scenarios around your life, you have to listen. And you have to follow these hierarchy systems, these, these matrix ideas. You can't break out that easily. But, but God damn it, man, in the gym and the damn barbell, man, do whatever the hell you want to do, man. You want to do a one-inch, four-ton squat? Hell, do it, man. Do it. Make that bar bend like a, like a noodle. Why not? It's not going to carry over. Well, I don't care. What if it does? What the hell happened to Paul Anderson? Oh, but no one, no one goes back to 40, 50 years before us because that humanity was trash. There's nothing to learn from there. There's nothing to learn from history. The only relevant thing is Rich Piana, Ronnie Coleman, Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
Kill Heath, that is the only relevance we need. That is the only relevance we need. Beyond that, it's where you're talking about dinosaurs. Do whatever you want, man. This is a freaking art. And I can't be more sure about that. Possibly I can't be more sure about that. It is an art, boys. Like it, It's literally an art. There is nothing sciencey about this, man. There is a million and one ways to do this shit. Yes, there is a traditional way. Traditional way that's kind of been proven for the majority of the population. Are you normal? Are you normal? Are you a normal under the bell curve? Are you there? Are you in the thick of the bell curve? I don't even know what normal is, man. Am I normal? I don't know if I'm normal. Does a normal guy squat every day? Does a normal heterosexual man be a nurse? What, what are the chances of that? You know, are, 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 are straight men supposed to be nurses? The majority of people out there will be like, no, you should be an engineer or you should be a tradie or a roofer or whatever. You can, I, I don't care what you have to say, man. I want to be a nurse. I want to look after people, old people, straight people, gay people, Muslim people, Christian people. I want to look after these people. That's it. That's me. That's my existence. And when I go down into my grave, none of you guys are going to be there to be like, oh, Ivan, been squatted on freaking days. 10, 100, uh, 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 10, 17, 10, 16, he squatted, he pin squatted, what an idiot, no man, we're all going bloody six foot deep, hey, it's, it's waiting, that little cube of, of, a, of a spot in the ground, that shit's waiting for us, man, no one gives a shit, and you shouldn't give a shit, yes, care about what your mother says, your father, your intimate family, your wife, your kids, take that to heart, man, that, they, these are your people, after that, sure, listen, reflect, but don't let every other guy push you in the direction they want. Because if 360 degrees around you, the people around you, 360, full circle, if everyone pushes you in their direction, guess what happens, man? You don't go nowhere, man. All the forces are equal to each other. You just stand there. Stand there on a rock thinking about philosophy and how the shit started in the first place. What is the bing bang? One year, two years, three years, four years. Everything's gone by. You're still sitting on a rock doing jack shit. Do it. With, with, will pin squats work? I don't know, man. You do it. Because you don't know what the hell I'm doing, man. You don't know if I'm sleeping well, if I'm eating well. You don't know anything about my life. Shit, I could be swimming in growth hormone right now. Right now, I could be eating a meal of growth hormone, and I, I, I might have a freaking needle in my neck, in my damn jaw, popping up 100 fucking milligrams of, of, of testosterone. You don't know. So if you don't know, test it for yourself, man. Get out there, get a barbell, and pin squat one millimeter of the damn bar with four tons. And make your own conclusion. Why? Because this is a freaking art, man. It's an art. Do it. Most likely, you're not a competitive powerlifter. And even if you are, man, whatever. If you're breaking world records, good for you. Most, most people are not, okay? The chances are you're shit. The chances are, my friend, you are shit. Like me. Like I'm shit. Everyone is shit. 99.9999% people in the world are shit. Why? Because there's only one freaking winner, man. There's one winner. There's one Michael Jordan, one LeBron James, one Kobe Bryant, one Tim Duncan. There's one of these guys, right? That's it. One winner. And if you're, if you're losing, you're getting your ass whipped, might as well try something different, man. Try something different. You're getting your ass handed to you anyway, man. Yeah, okay. Have your ass handed to yourself traditionally. You like a traditional smashing, ass smashing? Go for it. If I'm going to get smashed, man, I'm going to three, you know, I'm going to three in a haymaker, one or two. I might connect, I might know, but hey, I'm going to get jabbed to death anyway. But I'm going to swing that motherfucker around and if I connect him, he's dead. That's what I'm going for. All right. I've got nothing to lose, man. The way I'm going right now, my peak squat is going to be like 240, 250 life. If I'm lucky. Okay. What have I got to lose, man? What have I got to lose? I don't give a shit. And no one else gives a shit. It is what it is, man. You shouldn't do... Hey, you shouldn't listen to me. How about that? You should not listen to me. You should not listen to anybody around you about this shit. You should close your eyes right now and think to yourself, what do I want to do with my damn life? Because I am going to that hole six feet under by myself. By myself. I'm going to be chilling there for the rest of eternity by myself. So why the hell should I listen to some other guy when he doesn't give a shit anyway? He ain't going to help me in, in the hole. Break free from the damn matrix, man. Think about this shit, man. You have value. You have a brain. You are a freaking intelligent human being. Think for yourself. 
experiment. The people we celebrate in science are the people that went, the hell with this. I'm, I, I reckon there is gravity. I reckon there is something called general relativity. Oh, I don't even know what that shit means, but some guy reckoned he, he worked something out. Bang. I think Tesla got kicked out of school because of his outlandish thoughts. He got kicked out of school, man. Is he a traditional thinker? Did he do up five by five for the next 30 years? No, man. He was like, I'm pin squatting upside down with four tons. What does that mean? I don't even know, man, because is gravity real? Is the globe round or is it flat? Who the hell knows? Einstein went, yeah, well, no worries. Tesla's going to lunge all the way to New York, and then in New York, he's going to set two-ton squat. Who knows, man? Just do whatever the hell you want. Do it. If you want to be one of those good boys and good girls who sits there in class, puts their hand up, goes to lunch, goes to the toilet, whenever they get told to, if you're that obedient, whatever, man, you do you. But I am, I can't stand this shit, man. I'm a obedient little boy in every other freaking part of my life. When I come into the garage, I've got a two-handed freaking battle axe, and I'm swinging that motherfucker around, connecting with all everything. That's me. I don't have any armor. All I've got is a big-ass axe, a hammer, and I'm just swinging that shit around. And all the Romans are nice little packed like sardines in their little formations, listening to that general. All right, step, double time, soldiers. And I'm there running in like a madman, avoiding uh, uh, arrows and just swinging for the next helmet I can. That's me. That is a celebration of my freedom of warfare with, e with these weights. That is it. I'm celebrating my freedom. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.